Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Yep, he sure did. Wanted himself a hotel, and to make sure once he made the change, there'd never be any going back. We didn't get a say. I don't know how you'd argue with a fella like that anyways. Everywhere and nowhere all at once. So, just like that, we was all homeless. Went our separate ways, and that was all she wrote. Eventually, we made our way out here, but, uh... Well, when folks spend their lives in isolation, sometimes that ain't the best of things for learning to fight off germs. We was going to California, but Good Springs was as far as we got. After she passed, was no reason to keep going. I stayed so I could keep close to her. Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. You take care now. <laughs> 